Let's put dirt right here and let the grass spread onto it. And then put that right there so it doesn't look horrible. Um, I don't know. Maybe I could put it alongside right here instead. I was going to have... Uh, I'm going to need more trapdoors, though. And we're really running low on materials. Luckily, we have still we still have some logs. I don't think we'll need any more of them either, so we should be good. Uh, going to need one more than that. That should be good. I hope so. Anyway. Um. Perfect. Have like a little outside planter right here by the window. Uh, we should go collect some flowers real quick. Yes, yes, flowers looking good. Hey sheep, how you doing sheep? Um, take a couple of these. Luckily this place is like a meadow. It has tons of freaking flowers everywhere. I hate this grass though. It always gets in the way. And then when you're building or digging, you, it just gets annoying. I mean, it's cool. It's just annoying. Okay, this is probably way more than I'll ever need. Luckily, I have a chest that I can store stuff in. Um, there we go. Yes, yes, this will look this will look good. Um, well, I should actually wait for that to spread. I'm not sure if the trap doors are going to affect it or not. We'll just leave it and see if it spreads by itself. I'm not sure if the flowers will affect it either. Yeah, we'll do a test. Uh, yellow, red, and then just leave it. Okay, um... Put all this junk up that I don't need. Now that... Oh, we're not quite finished with the house yet, though. Well, we've got glass now, so let's go ahead and do this. Um... Let me turn on fancy glass. Video settings, quality... Uh... Connected textures. Fancy. Nice. Looks much better. Then add some right here. Come across here, of course. Just filling all this stuff in. And I'm probably gonna... Oh, that just annoys me. Gonna probably have to go sand hunting. Luckily, we're by water, so that shouldn't be a problem. Yes, yes. This is actually coming out very humble, very quaint. And here, this is actually makes a really nice desk. You can just sit on your bed. Ah, not perfect, but it's college level material. And I still need five. Something tells me I'm not going to have five, which sucks. At least I have enough to finish this window and start this one. <clears throat> right. Um, this roof is cool. Uh, you know what? I'm not quite sure what to do with that. It would be kind of cool to have windows right there, but I feel like that would be too much. We'll figure it out. First of all, we're going to need rafters, and in order to make rafters, you know, more half slabs. This should be more than enough. I hope so. You know what, let's make one more set just to be safe. I really like how you get six now, which makes more sense because you're literally cutting them in half. Um. What else did we need? More glass. Let's go get some sand real quick, and there's some right there. Yeah. There's little ponds all over. It's really weird. Weird place to have sand, too. This should be more than enough. Just getting some extra, I suppose. Um, there we go. Oh, getting dark. Perfect timing. Uh, also, after we finish this, I'm going to go on a little mining adventure, uh, kind of. Oh, hey, it does spread under plants. That's convenient. And it spreads through the other thing. So let's go ahead and get uh, one more of each. Um, let's try it this way, though. Yellow. Yellow. And red. Just the other way looked weird to me. Okay, um, this in here feels kind of dark. But I'm not really sure how to light this properly. I could put it on the support beams, but I don't know. Maybe one here and one here. 
No, that just feels weird. I don't know. We'll we'll think of something. Oh, oh, perfect idea. Perfect, perfect idea. Um. Oh no, that wouldn't work right there. All right. I completely forgot about this little trick. That looks amazing. Uh, then we can do it. Oh, well, we can't really do it over there. We can right here. I suppose this will work. No, I don't know. On top. There we go. That doesn't look bad. I don't think anyway. Um, and it does give just enough light. I think. Maybe a little too dark over there. I'm not sure. We'll find out when something tries to kill us. Okay, morning again. Um, not really sure. Oh, I know what I can do with lighting. Um, half slabs, right. Uh, in the tutorial, I saw they do half slabs like right across the top right here. Um, however, freaking Enderman jumping around. Uh, however, I feel that's weird. Like, it's, it's not bad weird. It's just... It just feels too low. So what I'm going to try to do is make, uh, you know, upside down slab. See if that makes any improvements. Yeah, that's much higher. It feels like a rafter, I think. Come across here. Put rafters again. Good, good. I like that. I really do. Um, I think I'm going to keep. Oops. I should really put these in while I ramble on about other stuff. Um, also, I think the cobblestone matches with the cobblestone as the base, and I, I don't feel like that's a bad thing. I mean, cobblestone isn't the best material, don't get me wrong. I do like it, though, kind of better than uh, smooth stone. Or, not smooth, uh, stone brick. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, now something I really want to do, um, well first, let's, we need to find some iron. Um, I know there's a cave nearby, somewhere around here, uh, I remember, oops, let me get, let me eat real quick. Okay, went ahead and skipped that for you guys, since, uh, eating melon over and over, it's really annoying and repetitive really quickly. Uh, but the reason I remember a cave here is because... I remember seeing it and thought that would be perfect uh, to put like a blacksmith nearby. That way they could have like get their materials fresh from there, or even just have like a a town uh, mine. I have no idea where it is though. I thought it was over here, but I may be wrong. Up, oh, is this it? I think I don't remember. I think I explored this though, so there's probably not anything left. Oh, okay. Completely wrong. I either missed it or didn't really care about iron or just maybe had a full inventory. Uh, I also want to come back through here uh, after I was done uh, and actually add materials into the wall. That way uh, it looked like it was a rich uh, mining expedition, I suppose. Put like mine carts through here, make it look like a real uh, you know, mine of course, these are just caves. You wouldn't really need, need supports or anything, but... Okay, it's getting dark in here. And I apparently haven't explored this way yet. Don't worry, I'm not going to be doing uh, a very long cave adventure. Just enough to get a decent amount of iron, just for our purposes. Um... Ah, here's some more. Uh-oh. Here's something. Oh, there you are. Die in a fire. Oh, we got bone meal. That's good too. We've got zombies. Don't like zombies. Zombies ate my neighbor. If you know what that game is, you're probably as old as I am. Um I used to love that game though. It was an old Super Nintendo game. Uh, me and my brother used to play it all the time. I used to love my brother when I was younger. Uh, we would, you know, play video games together all the time. I would love watching him play video games. Uh, Mega Man, Mario, all those cool games. Okay, that should be enough iron. I don't really feel like exploring too much more. 
And again, I don't want to draw this episode out longer than it needs to be. Come up here through this convenient... Okay, not so convenient staircase. Well, it's conveniently here, but it's a pain in the butt to use. Okay, let's see. Um, I think that's all we're going to need. Luckily, there's this little cave right here. Yeah, starting in town over here, probably going to be a good idea. Going to have to get rid of that, flatten it out, uh, fill in the water. Come on, grass needs to finish growing on there. It looks bad. Um, we're going to need to smelt this. Screw you. And let's go ahead and finish putting in the glass. What the guy did, or the tutorial, or whatever, the guy that made the tutorial, he put, like, some kind of material right here to block this off, but I'm going to put windows, just because, like I said, it'll open it up a little bit more and make it kind of feel cool. Um, the other thing I wanted to do, I'm going to need more wood, I think, but it, we have wood nearby. It's not, I need wood just to craft things, so I don't need, like, a specific color. Get, like, a chest or two. Definitely two. Then we're going to make, uh, where's my, oh, finished melting, cool. Uh, iron, we'll need a cauldron, we'll need, I was thinking an iron door, but I don't know if I'll need that. And screw it, we'll take a pair of shears because I had an idea. Um, okay, we've got more than enough crap. And one of these. Okay. I was thinking... Well, I need some dirt to get up here. Since this is kind of like an attic. Or addict, rather. Um, chest up here. And then this. And this. Perfect. And you actually got stuff up there, like you're storing. And it's also great for actual storage. So there. You can just lay back in your bed. Just look at your stuff. You should probably put that out. Anyway. Um, oh yeah, I brought some... No, that's glass. Fence gates. I'm going to see if this looks any better. Ah, crap. Stupid stair. I'm really happy that they actually give you stairs now. Uh, when you break a stair. So I can easily replace that without having to make a new one. Although I, I have an extra one, so I'll just do that for now. Um, come across here. And then come across here. I'm going to be one short, aren't I? Well, let's see which looks better. Hmm... Definitely think that looks better. Let me go make one more. Uh, just need sticks. I think I need four sticks. And then two pieces of wood. Perfect. And then we are done. Actually, not entirely done. Uh, the other cool thing I like about, you know, uh, fence gates instead is that you can, you know, use them to get down. Um, yeah, I forgot to do that side. Thought so. Um, just make a few more stairs, just because we'll probably need them. I don't think six is going to be enough. Probably will be, but I want to make sure. I don't feel like running back for more. Then we just run back here. Jump up with the dirt. Finish this side so it doesn't look lopsided. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Um, I think that's a perfect amount, more or less. Okay, now that we have shears, let's go ahead and uh, meet our little wolf friends here. So many of them in here, I swear. Uh, I think a while ago, I started to try to breed some of these, and it just got way out of control, as you can see here. And how'd you guys get down there? Holy crap, there's even more of you. I don't see how you're surviving down here, but far be it for me to argue. Oh no, I'm stuck now. I'm stuck with the sheep. Okay, some of you are going to have to die. You, you look like you should die. Don't know what you did, but apparently you're a very bad person, sheep thing. No, too many sheep. Must. 
Ugh, equalize. Nope, there's another sheep. Regrow its wool. I should put grass down here so they can all eat and get more wool. Uh, let me just get out of here and uh, block this off from them escaping. And we're good. Uh, oh, I already brought some paintings. That's what I was going to make. And I brought two. Oh well, doesn't matter much. Um, we don't have too much wall space for paintings, but right here seems like a perfect spot for a good painting. Uh, good painting. Good painting. Well, a big painting, rather. They're all good. At least, I think so. Uh, let's have a better looking one. Oh, there we go. That's beautiful. Um, yeah, I think that looks really good. Maybe one across the top here? No. Uh, let's make sure it goes long ways. There we go. Eh, I don't know. Too much artwork. Like, I like artwork. It does help break up some of the walls, but if you, if you put too much, it makes things look worse. Same with torches. Uh, and again, I'm going to have to do something with these torches. Um, I know, I can hide them, so to speak. That way I get just enough light, but I don't have to worry about having too many. Uh, what if I put them like right here and here? Mostly out of sight. And these two, unless you actually look for them. Like when you're right here. Yeah, you don't really notice the torches when you come in. And you may glance them, or glance at them occasionally, but it should add just enough light. Uh, out here we have the light on the sides right here. Again, you want to you wanna use the least amount of lighting as possible, and you want to try to put them on support beams. You know, uh, that's a great divider for them. Uh, down here, we already have our lighting. It's not perfect, but it will work. Um, at least I, I hope so. Uh, anyway, let's see. We have these torches on the outside. Normally, I like having torches on the outside to keep monsters away, but this is definitely too much torches. Um, I think what we'll have to do instead is just make... Um, make something like maybe a fence around it or something put lights around it like street lights or something we'll have to figure something else out because that definitely isn't going to work but yeah this is our neat little house so far uh, I finished the outside more or less so let's uh, let's go ahead and get a creative view I'll only turn it on temporarily so we can get a good aerial view I think it came out pretty nice if you ask me yeah, this definitely looks good. Um, perhaps a bit too much brown since I chose uh, wood as the other material. Uh, I think wood looks better. And to break up some of this, uh, I guess, brownness, what you could do is use dark wood logs instead, or at least for the support beams, because like, if you want the underside of the logs right there, all you have to do is just use regular logs since they all have the same, or even birch, since they, or jungle even. Again, since they all have the same up and uh, top and bottom side. Um, but again, uh, if you want to break it up a bit, dark wood always looks much more elegant. But uh, the reason I chose standard logs is because I wanted something everyone could get within their first night. Uh, so this is a, I, in my opinion, a really good house. Like, not a, a great house, but it's definitely you know, intermediate, um, not a beginner house, and it's really easy, simple to make. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and decorate it and see what we can do to make the inside look as good as the out. 